Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wobble Dogs, where we are rushing straight into breeding Tiny the Second, who just actually fulfilled an achievement that unlocked Pronto, a brand new dog, who has the tiniest little tail, and also has spots, the very first dog we've ever seen with spots, come into our uh, wonderful laboratory Wobble Dog experiment zone, and since Tiny is literally about to pass away, let's just jump right into it, and we are going to be breeding Tiny the second for the last time with this new dog, Pronto! <gasps> and they had a massive colorful litter with paint splotches everywhere! I love them! I love them so much! Oh my gosh, I love this one! Oh my goodness, and I love this one! Oh, who reminds me of Tiny the second the most? Okay, we're gonna look for the ones who remind me of Tiny the second the most. Oh, look at those big old splotches! So that hopefully we can go ahead and have more kind of like bunny dogs that we have started creating with Tiny. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at all these different kinds of patterns. Look at all these different kinds of patterns. I'm so in love. I didn't know you could actually get these kinds of patterns. Oh, I just want to pick this one right here. I love, you know what? I feel like we just need to select the final dog with this one for being tiny the second because it's got all of these spots all over it and we don't have a spotted dog like that yet and that is a thousand percent what I want. So you know what? I know this is kind of abrupt, but we're gonna go ahead and we are going to be picking this puppers now because I want those cheetah spots. Tiny the second, good job! And pronto! <gasps> we're gonna need to be like taking care of the DNA and taking care of pronto. Pronto, you guys. Don't we happen to have some sort of, um, here, Tiny the, the Third, why don't we go ahead and feed you a chicken nugget so that you can work on trying to, here, oh, there you go, oh, you're almost there, so proud of you, so proud of you. Here, we'll toss down a couple more chicken nuggets. Oh, he's choking on the food, don't choke on the food. Oh, I'm so sorry, maybe a chicken nugget was a little bit big for you. No, I don't want to praise you for choking on the food. Uh, that's the opposite of what I want to do. But all right, guys, so now we actually have this spotted dog who we are going to start incubating right freaking now. And I think I'll name it after one of you guys. And that's Pronto's pup. Pronto, you're amazing. We're definitely going to be need to be working with you. And meanwhile, where did Tiny go? <gasps> Tiny. Oh, my gosh. Did Tiny die? Also, they expanded the dog den again. I didn't know that they could do that. Oh my gosh. Is this... Is this tiny? And there's also two capsules in here with a test tube ball, which is amazing. And a covered chair for our spooky zone. But did tiny die while I was breeding? Like, breeding its DNA? Like, using its DNA in our little lab? And is one of these tiny? Okay, we've got to go back over to our, like, spook zone. We don't have any of the ghost puppers out right now. I know we need to, like, be mutating up so many of them right now. There we go. Okay, is Tiny here? <gasps> Tiny! Tiny actually died! Tiny! You died while I wasn't looking! <laughs> oh, no! I'm just gonna praise you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. While we were in the lab breeding up the newest little puppy, Tiny passed away, you guys. I have some deep feels about that. I truly, truly do. Here, we'll let Tiny hang out here with Celery. And those two can just like chill and play and have fun. Oh my goodness. And meanwhile, we do need to work on mutating up all of our other animals. What are you doing, Celery the second? Do not grab and throw. Celery, stop. Scold. Do not, do not grab the butt of Cat. For one, th no wonder Cat doesn't like, you know, hanging out with the other dogs. Celery, here. Okay, Celery, if you want to play, go ahead and, and, okay, that's actually Cat I have selected. Look, Celery, if you're going to be like that, you need to come over here and you can grab this stick. 
Also, praise to Cat for going ahead and eating that. Uh, what we need to start feeding Cat actually is a bunch of the chrysalises. You guys have been very clear that one of the best things that we could work on with Cat is to feed them chrysalis, and that will actually hopefully help them get more legs. So, oh, there's a capsule over here with a retro carpet. Oh, you guys are doing so good. So good. Oh my gosh, cramped? Okay, there's apparently a goal completed in here. Have 10 dogs in the world at once? <gasps> yes! We unlocked a whole new pen! Okay, we're gonna have to figure out, like, wait, why is there a dog core in here? Crumpet! <laughs> Crumpet's core was in here, oh my goodness. What the heck? How on earth did our ghost get in here? Which ghost is that? Wait, is that a ghost I s it's Peppermint! You you went ahead and summoned yourself. I didn't I didn't summon you. That's quite surprising. Um oh my goodness, look! Tiny the second is playing with the dog cores. They will play with the dead dog cores of each other. <laughs> I have a lot to think about. A lot to think about. Can I can I yeet this dog core? Okay, I can yeet the dog core and these baby teeth into the the boneyard. This game, I swear, this life, this life is amazing. I hope you guys have your lab coats on today and you're ready to help me out with cleaning up all of, after all the puppers because there is quite a bit happening here. Um, all right, so we actually need to start moving the cocoons in to our caterpillar zone. That's what we're gonna start calling the second room is we're trying to make a bunch of caterpillars with like green is a big focus, long legs, big focus, um, or multiple legs is a big focus. And I would like multiple legs in here too, but I think this might start being our playpen where we welcome in some of the new animals, like some of the ones that you guys can actually submit to me. Uh, and then we focus on trying to breed those guys up. <gasps> Are you kidding me? You can do that! Celery came in to play with Rue and Celery has now made my dog fly and then he just drops Rue. Just drops root. Celery, I'm gonna go ahead. I, I was trying to praise you for something else. Celery is now- Celery, did you eat- <gasps> Celery ate a pancake! Celery just ate a pancake and has a pancake floating inside of its stomach. I love this so much. What even is going on? All right, Squirtle, I think you're, you're good to go ahead and we're gonna puppy Squirtle now. I should probably pop it. Look, there is a floating pancake inside of my ghost dog. This is the best experience and best game I could ever possibly ask for. Why is this so amazing? Also, Tiny the Second is extremely hungry. Oh no, they're eating my... Oh dear. Okay, Tiny the Second, what to feed you? Maybe some of these? Okay, well, Tiny the Second ate a chrysalis instead because I have taken too long to go ahead and feed everybody. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have more, like, here we go. We need more alien fruit in here. I guess I should drag the cocoons in here so that then I have the dogs who are supposed to be eating them, eating them. We'll probably separate all of the pens so that I can control most of the pens and, like, who's where pretty soon here. Also, I guess, whoops, I did not mean to puppet Mozart. I was trying to praise him for pooping. So we could go ahead and like maybe clean that up at some point in the future. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and give all of the pets and love to Tiny the Third. And then we'll get you pup eating as well. And give you a little pet. Oh my gosh. There's so much happening. There's so much happening. You know what? It's kind of appropriate to think about- <gasps> We just completed the achievement for cleaning up poop! I mean, someone's gotta do it. That's literally the achievement too. Clean up 100 poops. Toilet paper rolls. We just got toilet paper rolls as something that the puppers can play with. I am not going to complain about that. <gasps> Celery! Celery the second's getting too old, you guys. Okay, we're gonna need to breed Celery the second, um, but maybe with Rue. Oh my gosh, I did not think this through carefully enough. Um, all right, Celery the second, I'm gonna praise you for eating. And praise, praise, praise. So proud of you, so proud of you. Um, no! Oh my gosh, Cat, you are so... You are, like, Cat is trying to throw Celery the second, too. Oh, this is just, this is just amazing. Alright, here, you guys want to play with these? I guess I can go ahead and let the pups play with some toilet paper rolls. I mean, any toy... No, Cat! Cat, drop it! Drop Celery the second. I know Celery the second has set very bad precedent for this, but still. Alright, I think we're gonna try breeding Celery the second in Rue 
to try to get like our caterpillar dog. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Because I don't want to lose Celery the second. We do have Cat though, who's doing really, really well on being a great dog for us. Um, maybe we should breed Celery and Pronto? You know, since we already have the extra legs, let's try breeding Celery and Pronto and see what happens. Heck! Why not? Let's do this! Okay, so we're, we're looking for more celery stick dogs is kind of the bottom line, friends. But we also want to have dogs that have like these cool patterns. So let's mix the two together. Hello, friends! You guys are good. Look at the short tails! <laughs> okay, we're going to have an interesting time doing our best to try to get what we are looking for. A celery stick dog with spots everywhere is kind of what we're going for because I love spotted animals. I just, I have a soft spot for spots. They're just cool. Can I get the spots on my celery stick? Now we have a short tailed celery stick with either no nose or a huge nose. It is a tiny pea nose. It is a nose the size of a pea. All right, let's keep going. Oh no, we lost all of the spots. That's okay. Let's keep going with these super beautiful long tails. This is actually a different style of tail right here. <gasps> That's a smooth tail. I've never seen a smooth tail dog. You know what? Let's take it. Let's take it. We're going to have a smooth tail dog and we might name it like Pea, Pea Pod or Asparagus. Actually, Pea Pod sounds perfect. Forget breeding. I want this dog. I need to start going with my instincts when I'm like, I want that dog. We're just going to start doing it more often. Yay! All right, celery. We're gonna have celery the third. Oh, and somebody laid an egg. Good job, Pronto. I don't know if you did that, but I'm gonna praise you for it anyway. Um, all right, celery the second. Thank goodness you're still with us. And you know what? We're gonna try to start turning this area kind of into celery's zone. So let's hatch Mozart and Tiny. And then I'm gonna actually disconnect this connector right here. Um, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do that. And then I think I'll just let the dogs kind of wander between these two groups instead. And this will become our new main experiment zone for caterpillar, like butterfly dogs. Um, and everybody else can, I guess, kind of wander around with each other and like hang out and we can see how they behave. Also, maybe we'll get more digging on the den. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. Also, there's some poop to clean up. All right, let's go ahead and clean that up. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and hatch Tiny the third. All right, so you guys pointed out one of the really cool things you can do is kind of like jump between the two options to see if anything has really changed. The answer with Tiny the Third is no. I need to figure out a better way to like focus feed Tiny the Third something. But Tiny, there you go, little friend. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and put you down here. Sorry, it is a bit of a yeet. And then we're gonna come over to Mozart. All right, Mozart, I don't think you have changed much either, friend. Oh, Mozart's color actually did change quite a bit. Look at that. We got a little bigger because we're older. We're an adult now, so Mozart can go ahead and start breeding. We have a fluffy tail and we have uh, much paler colors now. Interesting. Good job, Mozart. Here, I'm gonna put you over here too. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and we're actually going to disconnect how this one right here. So, whoops. Yeah, we'll disconnect this one and we'll connect it to this one. Yes. Okay, wait. Uh, all right. So I want select a starting wall. I want to connect these two, I think, to let these guys play together. So hang on. Ah, okay. Select an ending wall. Um, I want this one over here. Okay, so let's select here, and then I'm gonna let these guys play together. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's how you can get rid of those. Um, and then, yeah, I want all these guys to be able to play together. So, build. How big can you bank this? This is, this is getting kind of exciting to be like, oh, wait a second. I might really be able to start building this up. Um, let's see. We'll put you right here. And do I want these guys to be able to play super easily together? I kind of do. So 
Let's see. Here, and then here, so that they can get back and forth. And I may change my mind on making that like a free form area, allowing them to go wherever they want. Uh, but we'll have to see how that goes. Oh, and that's right, we have a new room we can add. Oh my goodness, where should I put it? Down here? Over here? Hmm. I don't think I'll put, I'll put the third room down for now, but we won't put anything in there just yet in case I need to like change my mind for what I want to put down here for experiments. So much stuff to choose. All right. And this egg machine is literally in the way of them being able to come over here. So we'll move the egg machine. Oh wow, it has to be in like a totally clear area, huh? Uh, well, for now I'm just gonna stick it here. And then I hate to destroy these dirt clumps because I love the dirt, but there we go. So fresh eggs, ready to go. Oh, actually, fresh eggs ready to go! Check out the little spotted one, you guys! Okay, finally! I'm gonna go ahead and roll the comments with our random comment generator. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead, and this is actually going to be Kala, after Wild Kala! I like that, we're gonna name you Kala Lily. Or just like Kala. Wild, actually, I love Wild Kala, the full name. There we go, and that's something I wanna start doing too, is naming some of the uh, puppers after you guys! So Wild Kala, welcome, welcome to the family! All right, do we have Squirtle? Okay, so Squirtle needs to hatch now. And then I need to yeet this chrysalis into the, the like, chrysalis chamber. And Squirtle has become a little lighter in color. They ate a ton and tail size has gone up! So Squirtle's tail is increasing. There you go, Squirtle. Yeah, we'll probably start isolating the dogs with specific types. <gasps> There's a new dirt patch here for a den! Squirtle, dig here, dig here! Dirt, oh, they have to bring dirt over here. Celery! Well, cat can finally eat you now, I suppose. Celery! Oh, Celery, I'm gonna miss you! Oh, gosh. <laughs> Celery's dead, you guys. Oh, I'm really sad about that. I loved Celery a lot. Oh, but at least the, 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 look at this, look at this. At least the gut DNA is not going to go to waste. It's not gonna go to waste. Cat's on it. Cat's working on it. Oh, but all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure in our laboratory experiments with Wobble Dogs. If you guys could, do please leave a like for Celery the Second, who I am going to deeply miss. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye